Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see by my blank eyes and my little headband, we're going to be doing a look together. Today we're going to be doing another winter palette bingo. So I'm going to be choosing three of my winter palettes at random and then choose within each of those two shades and we're going to try to create a look from that. If that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching. I really like how this little series um, combines two of the things that I like to do to play with my eyeshadows. And one is my seasonal lists and the other is my random number generator. So this one puts them two together. I pick three palettes at random. I'm gonna pick two shades from each using the Pretty Random app. And then we try to make a look together. So I've already picked them out and we're just gonna go one by one with the palettes and showing you what the shades are. So two of these are palettes that I've never used on my eyes before. So I'm pretty excited about that. And one of them is is a palette you've seen many times on my channel which I was also quite excited to have that one chosen as well so the first one that I had chosen was an oldie but goodie here the profusion emeralds and this is what it looks like there's a little bit of a spoiler there because they one of these shades is in my pan those eyeshadows right now but that is not the shade that was chosen for us we had shades 9 and 10 chosen so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those one is this kind of teal green matte so that's what that one looks like. I'm gonna build that one up a little bit for you. There we go. And then the other one is Galaxy, this really pretty kind of brown, green, turquoise -y shift thing going. And, oh wow, okay. And that's what that one looks like. The next palette is one of my BoxyCharm palettes that I got way back in August, and I finally figured out why they gave me the Butter London Teddy Boy, this very wintry palette, back in August is because they were going to give me a hot, fiery summer palette in the middle of winter. They gave me the Caliente, so I guess they thought they were making it up to me. I don't know. Uh, neither one made me super happy, but I'm finally getting a chance to put this one on my eyes. The shades I got were two and nine. So two is this one in the top center. Sorry, this is a very awkward palette. Two is Simon, and nine is the black shade. I'll just go ahead and swatch those and not have to struggle with it anymore. So... Simon looks like it's kind of a taupe, very light, just a little bit darker than my skin tone. And then Rupert is the name of the black shade. And it's kind of a charcoaly black. So there's what we're working with so far. And the final palette. I always get a little bit nervous dipping my fingers and brushes into a palette for the very first time. I'm not really sure why. Um, hopefully I'm not the only one that's like that. But this one here I've never swatched or anything. And it is the Bad Habit Supernova palette. And the inside of it looks like this. This is a dupe of some sort of Natasha Denona palette. I think it is the Lila or Lila palette, however that is said. The shades that I have chosen are five and 11. So going across this way, there's five and 11. So we have more browns, it looks like. So here is that brown. And then we have 11 is a deeper kind of taupey brown. So I am reminded every time I play with a Bad Habit palette, like how nice especially the shimmer formula is but also how buttery and flaky and powdery the matte formula is so like just from swatching that one time you can kind of see how much disturbance there was and i wasn't like schmooshing my um finger in there that hard so this is our color story i'm gonna go grab my brushes and let's get started okay got a pretty predictable assortment of brushes here a little liner brush a little tiny brush big fluffy brush, bigger fluffy brush, and a little pinched brush here to do some more detailed stuff. So yeah, let's get started. As a side note, I realize I probably should like use completely fresh and clean brushes for this, but this is real life. These are the ones that are on my vanity and I would have used if I was doing this when I was not filming. So that's where we're at. Starting off, we're gonna use the lightest shade that we got and that will be Simon. I'm gonna put that on a big fluffy brush and put it all in to the crease and probably onto the lower lash line as well. Well, I think you can tell that it's on there. It took a lot longer for me than it did for you because I had to layer it up several times, but it reminds me right away of the shade that I'm trying to hit pan on in my Pan That Winter palette, like the one and only transitioning kind of shade in the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale. So I'm kind of used to that kind of shade. I'm definitely going to have to build that up a little bit more. So I think we're going to be going with 
the other brown kind of shade that we have and we're going to put that into the crease too kind of focusing that on the outer corner and blending it in a little bit and that one does come from the supernova and that one is way down here called uh lunar i guess so i'm using my smaller blendy brush for that one So that's on there, and just for funsies, I'm gonna show you how much damage that one use did to this shade. I love pulling these in for pan those eyeshadows because they're soft and easy to hit pan on. Um, just to pull it in for this one thing makes me kind of cringe, like, oh my gosh, I'm hurting you so much, I'm so sorry. So we are looking pretty dark and smoky right now. I'm kind of liking the way the frame of this is starting to turn out, but I do have these bright colors here to work with, and I think, I don't know. I think the fun thing to do would be to put this all over the lid and then this have this as a gradient over it. Let's let's see if I can manage to do that. If not, I mean, it washes off. Then I will go ahead and use this teeny little flat pinchy brush into Meadow. Is that what it's called? Meadow, yeah. So the brush was not giving the color payoff that I wanted, so I have been kind of just patting it on with my finger now, and I'm liking that opacity a lot better, but now I'm dealing with some bright green eyelids. So let's just keep going, I guess. The other thought that was going through my mind was to have a very neutrally look with these five and then just have this as a liner on the bottom. Too late to go back to that now, I guess. So now we're going to go into a Galaxy and see what damage we can do with, with that. As it is a shimmer shade, I will definitely be using my finger for that one. I'm going to start it on the outer corner and then I guess kind of see where I go from there. I'm going to go in again, but this time I'm going to spritz that and see if it sticks a little bit better. I have been able to maneuver this shade to make it really sparkly and pretty. There we go. That's more like it. Feeling like I missed out on my Christmas look here because, yeah. Anyway, let's go to the next shade. So we have taken care of the top three and this one. So we've got the black liner shade. Well, it's gonna be a black liner kind of shade. And then this brown, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the black liner on the upper lid and see what I can do with that last one. Going back into Teddy Boy and we're using a Rupert here. I think it's funny that it's kind of taking um, after the balm, I think is it, who did that before, where they named all of the shades and stuff after guys' names. So these are a bunch of very old timey names. We got like Freddy and Archie and Rupert. So there we go. Just kind of stamp that in there. This will probably take quite a long time. Just gonna go ahead and keep on using that liner shade and I'm doing that on the bottom. I'll smoke it out. And you know what? I'm just gonna veto that last shade. And that's okay, I guess. I don't want to use it. I did okay. I used four, five out of six. Gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and maybe a little bit of some kind of brightening thing on the inner corner here because I feel like we're sorely lacking that. And I will be right back. And we are back with mascara and lips and a little bit more blush to try to balance out all this color. But I think I probably would have done better to just go ahead and keep with a neutral look on top and a um, green liner on the bottom, but I am not hating this look, especially now that I've paired it with this really dark red lip with this green reflect lip gloss on the top to kind of like pull it together. That kind of sounds a little bit fun. I missed out. I should have worn this look at Christmas or something, but that's okay. I'm wearing it now and here we are all seeing it together. every single shade in my color story like I didn't use this warm brown but at the same time not really I had fun making this look it's a bit darker and smokier than I usually go for but I guess that makes sense since I'm pulling out all my winter palettes and I think of those as the dark smoky palettes and got a bunch of browns and dark shades here so I had fun I hope you guys had fun too thank you so much for watching I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits if you have not already it would mean so so much to me if you would consider subscribing and I hope I see See you guys in the next one.